My fellow food fans, you are in for a treat because I am in my friend Amanda's kitchen to make the best and easiest Christmas cookies. And Amanda is the best baker I know. It's true. <laughs> from I Am Baker. So we are gonna make Christmas cookies with the easiest sugar cookie you've ever seen, decorated so beautifully and so easily that even I can do it, right? Yeah, that says a lot right there. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because every Friday we have new videos and I want you to be the first one to see them. So click subscribe. Now Amanda, show us how to make these amazing Christmas cookies. So all we need is one cup of butter, which okay. so we have a couple sticks okay. over here and I usually prefer to use unsalted butter. Yes. Now we're gonna go ahead and just start creaming that butter. And this is at a really beautiful consistency right now because we had it at room temperature. Very important, right? Very important. Yes. We don't want cold butter right now for this recipe. Let's grab one cup of white granulated sugar and add it to our butter. And then I would go ahead and hit this up to medium right. high and really get some air into there. We want a nice fluffy butter. So I would probably maybe three minutes okay. to do that on high, medium high. So one thing you'll notice when it's done creaming is that it's a different color. Ah. So your butter will go from like usually a deep yellow cool. to almost white. This recipe, like what do we have? Only seven That's ingredients my kind of recipe. total. It's and amazing. there's a huge time-saving tip that we'll explain later on, but you don't, don't give it to... away. So next we can go ahead and add in our vanilla. So all we did there was add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We only need a half of teaspoon of the almond extract. So we only have one ingredient left for okay. our liquids and that's an egg. Oh, let's do it. And we are using an extra large egg. I do recommend extra large. You Whoa. can visually see <laughs> yeah. that it's bigger than the egg next to it then you should be okay. Yes, or you can just come to Amanda's house here in Minnesota and get an egg from her farm. We raise chickens, <laughs> so we get about two dozen eggs a day. So now we'll go ahead and add our egg right to our butter sugar mixture, and then we can let it go for like 30 more seconds. Okay. So we will need three cups total of our all-purpose flour. So we are gonna add our flour with the mixer off because we don't wanna wear it. Ah, right? super I don't good want points. the beautiful heavenly veil yes. of flour yes. around my face. This is a so. work of art here. We don't wanna destroy <laughs> it. No, it's speaking from experience <laughs> is what that is. All right, we are going to add one more ingredient. Tell me. It is the final ingredient. Two teaspoons okay. of baking powder. Low and slow. Low for like 30 seconds and then you can turn it on a little bit higher, never more than medium, but like medium low. And then once this comes together enough that it's not crumbs, we're just gonna dump it out and start playing. Love it. Just go ahead and make a general pie, like flatten it a bit, and then we'll get okay. our rolling pin Nice. Out. So the secret with this recipe is really making sure that it's thick enough. And because this recipe is so darn beautiful and forgiving, it will hold its shape even with a thick cookie nice. without chilling. That's pretty amazing. Oh, you just gave away the secret. I did. So here's the secret of this recipe. You don't have to chill the dough for an hour or two in the fridge. You can go straight from making to rolling to oven to bellies. So right now we have in front of us some of the most fun yes. cookie cutters. Like who doesn't love cookie cutters? This dough works best on your first roll. So we won't eliminate as much waste as possible. Okay. So this is our traditional candy cane. Yes. So I would find like an edge, like and go pretty darn close cool. up to that edge and then just press down. Here are our beautiful sugar beautiful. cookies. We are gonna put these in my oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna do for six minutes. We're gonna start looking at like five minutes and 30 seconds. If you see the edges start to brown, yank it out. Okay, yes. our cookies came out perfect. Can you smell that? Right, this, they couldn't be more perfect. We need to let these cool to room temperature before we frost them. Okay. We are using buttercream. Nice. It's just a basic American buttercream, so butter, confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, cool. and then a liquid, so okay. vanilla. You can also add almond extra. Love so that we stuff. We already have that in our yeah. cookie. And I'll put the link to Amanda's buttercream recipe in the description box below. Thank you. You're welcome. I have gone ahead and put it in a pastry bag for us. I have it with an 18 tip, which is a tiny, wow. Star tip. So all you do is apply pressure and then release, and that's the perfect star. Whatever you do, just be consistent. This is obviously a little more challenging when you've been hitting the gym pretty hard lately, so, <laughs> you know, if it's a little off, that's the reason why I've been kind of blasting my biceps, but. I'm gonna do something with a tree. Okay. This is a 21 tip, which is basically just a bigger version of the tip you have. It's got the tines on it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do is add like a string of lights 
to oh, my tree. So cool. So I just used a small open round tip and that can be any size. I have some rainbow um, chocolate chips. They're cool. miniature. Super and cool. I think Super they cute. just are a good little addition. Do you think we should maybe add some glitter? Or I some think glitter makes sparkles? everything better. It's kind of yeah. how I rule my life. It's like <laughs> glitter always makes things better. So let's start on here. I'm gonna make it rain some red and then a little shower of green too. You guys, check this out. I mean, I literally have the baking skills of a five-year-old. So if I can do this, there's no reason why any of you or your children can't. And the coolest thing is the recipe is so easy. You can have your friends, your family doing with you, your kitties. It is below in the description box. Make sure you check out Amanda's I Am Baker blog. Honestly, it's the best baking blog on the web. We cannot hold off the kitties anymore. So guys, devour your favorite one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy these as much as Amanda's kids are. The recipe is below. If you want to see some more awesome videos, click on the ones below me. We are going to devour these. See you next week. Keep on cooking. Bye.